to think about how weird it is that we make sounds out of our mouth. And then somehow that turns into meaning. A, E, I, O, U. It's honestly kind of magical. Like one person has an idea in their head and they can communicate that idea to countless other people through literal movements of their lips and twirls of their tongue. In this video, we're zooming in on those individual sounds, the ones that form the basis of the language that we use every day. So if learning about language piques your curiosity, then buckle up because I'm taking you on a journey into the fascinating field of phonetics. And my hope is that by the end, you'll have a clear understanding of what phonetics is, how speech sounds work, and why it all matters. And for those of you who might not know me yet, I'm Emily. I've long been fascinated by language, so much so that I got my PhD in linguistics. And the best part is that now I get to share all of the information that I've learned about how language works with you. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. Quick, what is the difference between a z and a s? sound, as in the words zip and sip. Think about it. How would you tell someone to make the z sound into a s sound? If you're like most people, you can't quickly describe exactly what's happening in your mouth when you make those sounds. Most people would have to actually say the sounds out loud to figure it out. And that's because a lot of our knowledge about how our speech sounds work is automatic. That is not consciously available to us. Now, if you did pronounce it out loud, you'd observe that the difference between making a z and a s sound has to do with your vocal cords. To make a z sound, they have to vibrate, and to make a s sound, they have to not vibrate. Did you know there's actually a term for the action of your vocal cords? It's called phonation. It's a pretty jargony term that most people wouldn't know, but you know who would know? A phonetician. And phoneticians are the people who study, well, phonetics, which begs the question, what is phonetics? Phonetics is the scientific study of speech sounds. And when it comes to learning about the speech sounds that exist in the roughly 7,000 languages around the globe, there is so much to explore. But in this video, we're sticking just to the basics. That means that we're starting with the speech stream. What's a speech stream, you ask? Well, the words that I'm saying right now are a perfect example. My speech stream is composed of the sound waves that result from me flapping my lips, moving my tongue, and vibrating my vocal cords. And from that movement of my articulators, that's what we call all of the parts of my mouth or face that move to make speech happen, my speech stream goes from my mouth to your ears. In English, your articulators rely on combinations of just around 25 basic gestures to form almost all of the speech that you ever produce. And a quick shout out here to my favorite articulator. Did you know that your tongue is among the fastest and most precise muscles in your entire body? Okay, now imagine for a moment that you're a trained phonetician. That means that you'd be able to describe speech streams with incredible precision, and you'd have an intimate understanding of the physiological mechanisms that underlie speech production and perception. Now, do you have a guess as to what would be the main tool in your phonetician's starter kit? I mean, after all, architects have their blueprints, gardeners have their shovels, cartographers have maps. What is the main tool in the toolkit of a phonetician? Well, it's the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet. Now, the IPA is the global notational standard for the phonetic representation of all languages. In layman's terms, this means that the IPA is a set of symbols, an alphabet, if you will, that can adequately represent all the possible sounds in human languages. It's the transcription that you see in dictionaries with funky symbols that lets you know how to pronounce words, well, if you know how to read IPA. And if you want to know more about the IPA and how to read and write it, then stay tuned for our next video where I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about the IPA. To be sure, there is much more about our speech sounds than meets the eye, or should I say ear. What not everyone knows about phonetics is that as a field of study, it has a lot of important real world applications. And lucky you, I'm going to share some of them with you right now. So without further ado, here are the four most important ways that our speech sounds impact our daily lives. Number one, language learning. Language teachers and speech therapists alike use phonetic information to teach target speech sounds to their students and patients. This goes for native and foreign language learning. And if you're learning a language and you'd like some fun and easy tips on how to master pronunciation, then check out the video we've linked for you in the description. 
Okay, number two, forensic evidence. Now this one might come as a surprise, but phonetic transcriptions and acoustic analyses of verbal exchanges are often used as evidence in police work and on trial. Imagine there's an audio recording of an important conversation that's used as a piece of evidence in a court case. The words can and can't, for example, only differ by one speech sound, the t. Now, if a phonetician were called in as an expert witness in this case, they would have the responsibility to conduct a careful acoustic analysis of whether the person in the recording produced that T sound. Now, in phonetics jargon, we wouldn't call it the T sound, of course. We would call it a glottalized, voiceless dental plosive. But I think T sound works for now, right? Now, it's worth mentioning that to conduct their analysis, the phonetician would be doing more than just listening really closely to the recording. They would likely analyze a spectrogram version of the audio file to look for key characteristics in the frequencies of the sound wave. Okay, number three, this is a fun one, emerging technologies. Acoustic phonetic measurements are the basis for all the speech recognition software that we interact with daily on our electronic devices. When you tell your phone, for example, to remind you to buy groceries at 5 p.m., it's taking your speech as input and then translating that into written text and then executing an associated action item. Underlying that entire interaction is software that's been trained to decode human speech sounds, which is not an easy task. Think of all the different ways that a language can be spoken or pronounced. Of course, sometimes the software gets things wrong. So do we. <laughs> Last one, number four, understanding human cognition. Now this one's a bit loftier than the other ones, so bear with me. Now, thinking more broadly, the field of phonetics aims to advance our scientific understanding of what's possible in human speech sounds across global languages. For example, why do most languages have a p sound and not a b sound in the language? Why is it that most babies' first sounds are something like mama or dada and not some other sounds? And why does the sound k sound to us as something that's hard and pointy, while the sound u sounds to us like something round and soft? Some of these speech sound questions have an answer. Others remain a mystery. But the point is, if we think of the speech stream as a window into human cognition, then phonetics is one of our paths towards better understanding what it means to be human. Oh, and last thing, we created some cool and free resources for you, which you can access through the link in the description. They include a cheat sheet breakdown to help you remember what phonetics is and why it's important. It's basically a summary of everything we covered in today's video. And we also have it in a fun PDF slide deck form, if that's more your style. Well, there you have it. To recap, in today's video, we covered a lot of ground, but here are your main takeaways. First, we learned that most of our knowledge about how our speech sounds work lie below our conscious awareness. But there is a whole field of study that aims to describe and understand our speech sounds, and that is called phonetics. And the people who study it are called phoneticians. And beyond being a window into human cognition, the field of phonetics has real-life implications in areas such as language learning, forensic analysis, and emerging speech recognition technologies. You can now officially go out into the world and impress your friends by explaining what phonetics is and how it applies to the way that we use language every day. Well, thanks for watching. If you loved the video, please let us know by subscribing to the channel. And as always, if you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see from us, let us know in the comments down below. See you next time on Adventures in Language. Bye. It's me again. And I'm here to remind you to get your free goodies, which you can access through the link in the description. In our next video, we'll be diving deeper into the international phonetic alphabet, breaking down everything you need to know about how to use it. And if you want to be the first to know when that video goes live, then ring that notification bell. In the meantime, you can catch up on our existing videos right here. Well, see you next time on Adventures in Language. Bye.